breaking overnight. North Korea launched a long-range missile, its first successful attempt in five tries, with rockets powerful enough to reach our shores. That has drawn a sharp response from the White House, and ABC's top national security correspondent is tracking it all from Washington, Martha Raddatz. This, this launch also caught officials a bit by surprise. It did indeed, George, which shows you how little we know about this country. North Korea has been trying to successfully launch a missile like this for well over a decade. North Korea is not threatening to strike the U.S., but remember, North Korea is a nuclear-armed country, unstable, secretive, and this is a significant step closer to being able to put a nuclear weapon on a long-range missile. <laughs> The news was announced overnight with great fanfare on North Korean TV. An excited broadcaster calling the rocket launch a glorious success. This morning, America's Aerospace Defense Command, NORAD, confirms it was a long-range Galaxy 3 rocket like this one. The most powerful the nation has ever launched and a major step in its weapons program. What the North Koreans have done with this launch is demonstrate the technological capability to launch an intercontinental ballistic missile a long, long way, potentially threatening the west coast of the United States. The three-stage rocket was able to launch an object into low-level orbit. The North Koreans say it was a satellite, but the U.S. believes it was merely testing a capability to carry a warhead. Until now, North Korea has attempted but failed four launches. ABC's Gloria Riviera was in South Korea overnight when the announcement was made. Here in Seoul, news of the rocket launch broke with urgent news bulletins that South Koreans got on their cell phones, read on the Internet, or saw on television. It touched a raw nerve. One man told us he thinks the North Koreans should be exiled from Earth. The two countries are still, after all, officially at war. This morning, international response condemning the launch is unified. The White House calling it a highly provocative act that threatens regional security. The North Koreans are still years away from having the capability to launch a nuclear warhead, but this morning it is clearer than ever that North Korea's new leader, Kim Jong-un, will continue his father Kim Jong-il's legacy of pursuing nuclear weapons technology despite those harsh sanctions. George? Seemingly no change at all. Okay, Martha, thanks very much.